have Blue Lagoon. Blue Lagoon. Mm-hmm. Tell me more about this Blue Lagoon. Is it a large lagoon or a small one? It's large, but I'm up top looking down at it. Mm-hmm. Very good. So let's see, as the observer of this lagoon, how far up are you? On a ledge. On a ledge, very Cliff good. Cliff, kind of. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. It's so inviting. Mm-hmm. Like when I dive in. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now, as you're on this ledge, do you have a body there? Mm-hmm. Take a look at your feet. What do your feet look like? Mm. Human. Uh huh. Are they male or female feet? Take a look. Female. Uh huh. Are they large or small? Just Just average. Average. And do these feet, do they have anything on them? Are they bare feet? Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm tan, like that. You're tan? Mm Mm-hmm. All right. So now that we have the information on the feet, let's take a look at the rest of you. What does the rest of you look like? Acclimate yourself to that body. See through those eyes. What do you look like? Native American kind of. Mm-hmm. Are you wearing any clothes? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like feathers and leathers and mm-hmm. beads and stuff. I don't... All right, so let's take a look. I'd like for you to use your virtual arms and just wrap your arms around this body and tell me what does this body feel like? Strong. Strong. Very and good. Effeminate. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. How old are you there? Young, yeah, like... What's the first number that comes in? 27. 27. Very good. So look around you and see if there's anybody else with you. No. Mm-hmm. So as you're on that ledge, I'd like for you now to just get yourself directly into that scene. Put yourself directly there, completely, and let's find out what it is that you're doing there today. Mm, Having fun. Mm -hmm. Are you supposed to be in that place? I mean, I have responsibilities, Ah, but... Let's find out what those responsibilities are that you're having fun from. I'd like for you to close that scene, and let's go to the place where you live. I'm going to count from one to three when I get to number three. Be in the front of the place where you live. One, two, and three. Be there now. I mean, it's a community. Mm-hmm. Take a look around this community. Everybody's kind of doing their own like thing they mm-hmm. have to do. Mm-hmm. How many people do you see there? Is it a large group or a small group? Yeah, it's a large group. Mm-hmm. And how are these people dressed? Like Native Americans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How, do, how do you feel in this community? Free and supported. Mm-hmm. So let's go to the place where you live. What does it look like? It's just a um, regular hut kind of mm-hmm. what's the shape of this hut circle mm-hmm. what is it made out of um like clay and mm-hmm. natural materials natural and what does it have a color just earth tones mm-hmm. so how do you get inside of this hut i feel like you have to duck down to get in all right so go ahead and duck down and let's take a look and see what's inside Adjust your inner eyes and look around. What's inside this hut? Mm. Family. Mm-hmm. What do you see in there? Like a father figure. Mm-hmm. 
So I want you to connect soul to soul with this father figure and tell me, does he feel familiar to you? Take a look into his eyes and see if you recognize them in the life of Liz. My grandfather, I think. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's look around and see if there's anybody else there. Hmm. Who else is there? Like a mother figure. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to feel her soul, look into her eyes and see if you recognize her. My mom now. Mm -hmm. Very good. Anybody else in there? Like a child, mm -hmm. brother, younger. How does he feel to you? Does he feel familiar? Mm. No? I don't think so. No. All right, very good. So let's see what you, how old you are there. How old do you feel there now, inside this hut? I feel like 17. 17, very good. So let's see what your responsibilities are to this family. What is your role in this family? What do you do? I forage. Mm -hmm. Are you good at it? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. So what are the things that you gather? Um, berries, mushrooms, like herbs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is there anything else in this hut? That's important to you. No. No. All right. So let's close this scene now. Close the scene and let's go to a next important scene of your lifetime there. Be there now. Where are you? Um, everyone's gathered around. Mm -hmm. Like a fire. Like some sort of ceremony. Mm -hmm. It's the occasion. like a new chief or something. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. I'd like for you to go through this scene and see what's happening. Tell me everything that's happening there. Lots of dancing. Mm -hmm. mm. Are you dancing? I'm watching. I'm observing. Mm -hmm. Who's doing the dancing? The men. The men. Mm -hmm. And as you watch them dance, how does that make you feel? Love and community and mm -hmm. strong very good part of something strong mm -hmm. good anything else happen there mm. connect with your emotions connect how you feel I'm excited about it mm -hmm. is there anyone in particular that stands out? Look around. Somebody I like, like a crush or something. Mm -hmm. Let's find out who that is. Focus on that. Who is that? Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to feel the feelings. What does it feel like? Like a soul, like a, like a Twin flame, soulmate mm -hmm. kind of connection. Very good. Take a look in, on, into his eyes. The eyes of the window to the soul. Connect. What does that feel like to connect? Safe. Mm -hmm. Do those eyes seem familiar? Mm. No. No, but it feels good. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'd like for you to take that feeling that feeling that you're feeling now of connecting. And I'd like for you now to just feel it throughout the entire body. That feeling of looking into somebody's eyes and feeling safe. Knowing what it feels like to finally connect. 
and as these feelings go through your whole system you'll be able to put out that information once again so feel it very good so now let's close this scene and let's move forward into your life in that lifetime to the next significant scene when something happens be there now where are you hmm. what do you experience like I'm the I'm the mom now I'm the mm-hmm. I'm the person who's the leader mm-hmm. how old do you feel See the number. 60s. Mm-hmm. See the number. 68. 68. Mm-hmm. Very good. Tell me what's happening. Mm. What, what is your role there? Um, people come to me for guidance. Mm-hmm. What kind of guidance do you give people? Marriage. Mm-hmm. Um, community, just finding foods and stuff. Mm-hmm. What I used to do when I was younger. Mm-hmm. So let's find out what your living situation is. Let's find out if there's anyone that lives with you. I'd like for you to see yourself in the family unit. And let's see who's in your family. My has my soulmate guy husband. Mm-hmm. But he's like a leader, more of a leader now than back then. Okay, very good. Anybody else in your in your family? Mm. Or is it just both of you? There's other older women around. Mm-hmm. Who is that older woman? Like my best friend. Mm-hmm. Good. Take a look at her eyes. Do you recognize these eyes? Mm. You know. So I'd like for you to connect with her soul and feel her soul. So that if you recognize her once again, you'll know who that is. Very good. So now let's close that scene. Close that scene now. Let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Allow yourself to see yourself and the last day. Look around, see if anybody's with you. Mm -hmm, Like everybody. Mm -hmm. No fear. No fear. So what is the reason why? It's a celebration. It's Mm -hmm. like celebrating life. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? Mm -hmm. In my 93. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel? Accomplished. Like Mm -hmm. I'm leaving this world a better place. Wonderful. Wonderful. So let's take your last breath in that lifetime, detaching yourself from that body, leaving that body behind. And as you look back at that lifetime, Every lifetime has a purpose and a lesson. What was the purpose of that lifetime? It was like training to be a leader. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Were there any lessons learned? Mm -hmm. To allow myself to be supported and then to also support others. Very good. So I'd like for you to continue on your journey and tell me what you see as you journey away from that body. What happens next? Mm -hmm. Just looking down at it. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you see. Sadness, but, but, I don't know, happiness at the same time. Mm -hmm. Continue to go. To drift and float away from that lifetime. Drifting and floating away from that lifetime. 
and as you connect with the spiritual realm, you'll understand why that lifetime is important to the lifetime now of Liz. What is the impact of that life? How is she being affected by it? She's really wise, knows more than, <laughs> mm -hmm. knows more than she learned. It's like an internal knowledge. Mm -hmm. Is she accessing the information from that lifetime, mm -hmm. the experience? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that why she seems to feel that she needs to be wiser mm -hmm. than her years now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is there any advice that this personality would like to give to Liz today? Any of her wisdom? You're more powerful than you know, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. And she has a question about meeting her twin soul. And in that lifetime, she did meet her twin soul and twin flame and was able to participate with him in her life. What advice does she have to give now about meeting him? Keep cultivating yourself and then he'll come. Very good. Very good. So let's continue on her journey. Let's have, see where she goes now. Continue to drift and float. Floating and drifting into another place and another time. You may be meeting with your guides. You may be going to another life. Allow yourself to see now. Where are you? It's white. Mm -hmm. It's white. Tell me more. Tall white beings. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? Ancient, like so, like wise. They know everything. Mm -hmm. How many do you see? Six. Six. So I'd like for you to connect with them telepathically. And as you do, what happens? Mm, peace. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to really worry about. Let's ask them why you needed to live that lifetime as that Native American. What was the purpose of that? To get in tune with the earth and to learn to love the earth. Mm -hmm everybody and feel love and be love mm -hmm. very good so let's find out more about this place with the tall beings let's find out who they are and what they represent in the lifetime of this connect with them now yeah who are they like the ascended masters oh, ascended masters very good what do we need to learn from the admiss and the masters today? Let your heart be the one to speak and mm -hmm. to be the one to guide you. Mm -hmm. So let's find out a little bit more about the purpose that this entity with the name of Liz, Elizabeth, came into this world, I'd like for you now to go to the moment of the planning of the lifetime. Mm. See yourself there. Or I'm um, gathered around with these, I'm one of these center masters looking at earth like there's a problem. All right, let's find out what's happening. Acclimate yourself completely into this moment and let's see what's going on. Earth is, Earth is in trouble, mm -hmm. and it's affecting everything, so we have to do something. And, I mean, going to that level of a vibration is not what I want to do. All right, so let's find out a little bit about you. Why are you here with this Ascended Master? What role do you play? 
I'm an aspect of the Ascended Master. All right, very good. So are you saying that you need to split yourself up and go to a lower plane? Mm-hmm, uh -huh. to help heal and be a, vibrate, a higher vibration there. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what's going on with Earth. I'd like for you to tune in and see what are you receiving from Earth that it needs your help. Unnecessary suffering. Mm -hmm. People don't know. They don't know what they are. They've lost. They're, it's so distorted. Mm -hmm. So just be an example of the, how to be a human. Mm -hmm. Have you been a human before? I, did, I think that that Native American was actually an imprint. Mm -hmm. All right. So have you been to the earth before? Mm -mm. No. I don't want to go that low. So I don't right. have been there done that kind of thing mm -hmm. so let's find out the reason why you finally made the decision to go to earth I heard I heard the call from people from that unification church mm -hmm. let's find out a little bit about why you're drawn to that connect with that signal Part of a wave of it's a it, I'm not just me. There's a wave of us that came mm -hmm. to elevate the energy. All right. Do you know the others that are coming with you? They all came with that church. The intention of the church. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What is the purpose of coming to Earth through that church? It's not the religion of the church that's important. It's mm -hmm. the intention of the parents and the leader. Uh -huh. So even if you're not in that religion still, it doesn't matter. You still hold the vibration mm -hmm. for the intention. Mm -hmm. So let's see how it is that you chose those particular people to be born into that life. I'd like for you now to connect with that moment. See yourself in that moment and tell me how you chose that family. The best of intentions, that there was love there. Mm -hmm. And they really care about the human race and, and getting to a higher state as a collective. Mm -hmm. Did you know these souls before? Let's take a look. No. No. So what's the best way to fulfill this mission? Let go of fear and ch basically channel the Ascended Master Wisdom. Mm -hmm. So if, if this entity has never been human before, how is she going to remember? Akashic record and imprints. Mm. All right. So let's find out how it is that she connects with them. Take her through it so that she can connect with the Akashic record imprints. It's like a timeline, mm -hmm. just like a reel of film going by. Just... All right, let's find out what that is. You can slow it down at any point and stop it. And let's find out what it is that Liz receives from these downloads, from this connection. Mm. I'm getting toth, soft. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Mm. What does Toth have to do with, with this entity? Mm, writing, uh, knowledge, mm -hmm. passing on knowledge. Pass very, very good. Mm -hmm. You could slow down this download at any time, and let's find out how it is that she's keeping this information. When she gets quiet and and it's just her and she it just comes just flows. Mm -hmm. Is this during meditation or anytime she's quiet? 
anytime, even when she's around people and they're talking about something, it'll flick to a, a scene and she'll get a download on what how to respond and how to help them. And All right. So I'd like for you now to connect with the number 11, taking a deep breath in, connecting with the information of the number 11. See the number 11. It's a code. All right, let's find out what that code is. I'd like for you now to decipher that code. It's a remembrance of unity. Mm -hmm. Unity consciousness and knowledge. Is this information just for Liz or is it universal? It's universal. 11 is a remembrance. Mm -hmm. Of unity. Of unity, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. How can she use the number 11 in her life? She is the number 11. She is the number 11. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So let's find out even more. Let's find out a little bit about how she connects with this information in order to heal. She uses right now energy in order to heal. I'd like for you now to connect with the records that provide you the healing abilities. We all have them. All right. So describe to Liz how it is that she's using her hands or even her entire body to heal others. So this Christ consciousness mm -hmm. is that's the second coming of Christ is the consciousness mm -hmm. not the entity mm -hmm. and so her hands heal as if it were that Christ mm -hmm. healing but everybody can do it it's not just her it's everybody ha is an asp is Christ like that everybody can be Christ like so what is this little tingling that she feels? What is that? She's not using it. She has all this power and she's just not using it. And oh. it's like, it's tingling to be like, use it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have it, use it. So what's the best way for her to use her power? Give it away. Go go, go volunteer. Give it away at hospice or something. Just, mm -hmm. just use it. Well, she had a question if she could even touch the people. Because yes. she's been trained in Reiki. Mm-hmm. So can you tell her the best way for her to use her energy to help heal people? A hug, even uh -huh. mm -hmm. even just a, a touch on the shoulder, or mm -hmm. it, it's not, it's instant, it's not, it doesn't have to be a huge ritual, or mm -hmm. it, we all have it. So just giving someone a, a heartfelt hug would help them? Oh my gosh, like... If we all came together as humans and hugged each other, we would shift the planet completely. So now that we know that just her intention and her, her touches is, is uh, what could help her, what would be the best thing for her to do as far as occupation on this earth plane? It's always, her interests always change. So it it would have to be something that keeps her interested mm -hmm. so, so it's a moving target yeah like because she loves intelli like learning and intelligence and stuff mm -hmm. like that so it would have to be something that kept her mind active mm -hmm. um, the healing is great but it it doesn't keep her mind as active as like research she always researching always always learning so something that has to do with learning well, she's been doing a lot of research on healing herself, healing her body. Mm -hmm. What is going on with her body? Why is it giving her some issues? Mm. Uh, EMFs uh, mm -hmm. are penetrating everybody's energetic field, and that's what's causing anxiety, depression, fear. Mm -hmm. It puts holes in your aura. But it seems to me that if she has the ability to heal, mm -hmm. I would think that she would have the ability to self-heal. <laughs> yeah, so why is she not self-healing herself? This, 
this perfect machine that knows what to do, who has the energy, I would think that she would be able to just heal herself. So let's find out a little bit more. Could you assist me in helping her self-heal today? Mm -hmm. So let's do a scan of her body first of all, all the way from her head down to her toes, and see if there's anything there that needs to be addressed today. Uh, right shoulder. All right, let's find out what is in the right shoulder. I'd like for you to hone in on it and see if this is something that's an energetic thing, it's a physical thing, if it's something that has attached to her or something that she created in her shoulder. Let's take a look and see. It's an attachment. It's an attachment. All right, very good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my own hands over that area and begin to bring that energy up, 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 to give it a voice. Good morning. Mm. You there in the shoulder, are you male or female energy? Male. Male. What name can I call you today? George. George. George, have you ever had a human body before? Yes. All right. How old is that body? 65. 65. And what year is it for you, George? 77. Mm -hmm. Is that 1977? 1977. So, George, what happened to you? How did you lose your body? Car accident. Car accident. What happened? I was driving at night and I couldn't really see and mm -hmm. I crashed. So, what happened, George, after you left that crash scene? Where did you go? Wandered around. Mm -hmm. And how did you find Liz? Oh, she was sad. Mm -hmm. How old was she? Fifteen. Mm -hmm. Did she invite you? No. No. So it seems to me, George, that you took advantage of this young girl. Mm -hmm. And attached to her. What have you been doing to her all this time? Trying to control her arm and control how she does things. Why is that, George? Why would you want to control her? Because I lost control when I was driving. Ah. So are you doing this to benefit her? Mm-hmm. So, so she herself? won't do the same thing. Okay. But it seems to me, George, that this is not your body. Mm. When you left your body, you should have gone home. You could have gone back to source, could have learned a few things, and could have had your own body coming back again. What did you not choose? Did you not know, George? I didn't know. Mm. She was bright light. Yes. Well, that bright light is also within you, George. Did you know that? No. Take a look at your heart. There's a speck of light there. This light is the God spark. It's what created you. Take a look at it, George, and find that light. It may be small, but it's there. Mm. This is the light that created you. It's that light that always reminds you where to go. Find that light now and make it bigger. Mm. How does that feel? Interesting. Mm. So make it even bigger, George. See how big it is that you can make it. Expand it out. Big enough to walk through. Mm. This is the light you were looking for. Tell me what's on the other side of that light, George. Angels. Mm -hmm. What did they tell you? Connect with them. You got lost. It's mm -hmm. time to come all right. home. <laughs> Very good. So, George, I'd like for you to go ahead and disconnect all of your essence from her body. Completely remove yourself. I'd like for you now to go through that light. And is there anything you would like to tell Liz before you go? I'm sorry. All right. Take a deep breath in, Liz. Can you forgive George for not knowing? Yes. Very good. So, George... You now have that wide open light before you. 
Go ahead and step through that light and allow the angels to guide you. And tell me when you get back home. There. Uh-huh. Is there anybody there to welcome you, George? My wife. Very good. Give her a strong embrace. I made a light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. So now I'd like for you to continue to do a scan of this body and see if there's anything else there. The gut. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the gut. What's in there? Is this something that she created or something attached to her? Attached. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put my hand over that gut. And let's bring that energy up. Up, 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 up. And now we can give this energy a voice. Good morning. Hi. Are you male or female? Female. Female. What is your name, please? Annette. Annette. How old are you? 46. Mm -hmm. What year is it for you, Annette? Eighty-nine, nineteen eighty-nine. Mm-hmm. And then, what happened to you to lose your body? Cancer. Mm -hmm. What kind of cancer did you have? Intestinal cancer. Mm -hmm. Now, Annette, when you died, where did you die? At home. Mm -hmm. And what did you do after you left that body behind? Um. Walked around trying to figure out what happened. Mm -hmm. And when did you find Liz? In her house. In her house. How old was she? Thirteen. Mm -hmm. What was happening at the age of thirteen that allowed you to connect with her? Mm -hmm. Lots of chaos mm -hmm. in her life. Did she allow you to come in? Did she call for you? No, but I thought she needed my help. What kind of help have you been giving her, Annette? <clears throat> Helping her decide what to eat. Mm. It seems to me that nothing that she puts into her mouth falls very well. Mm. Are you causing that, Annette? Maybe. Mm, why is that? Because it's the same pain that I felt. So. Ah, so you might as well give her the same yeah. pain. Because it gives you more power? Does it make you feel good? It makes me feel alive. Ah, but see, you're not alive in a body anymore, Annette. You still are alive, but you don't have a body anymore. Mm. And we don't want you to feel that pain any longer. Wouldn't it be nice? To finally be relieved of that pain? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Annette, I'd like for you to go ahead and look inside of your own body, not at your tummy area, but I'd like for you to look at your heart area. And, Annette, there is that light, that light that created you, that God spark, the one that reminds you of home. Take a look at it. And tell me when you find it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Annette, make it bigger. Make it really big. And tell me what that feels like. It's bright. Mm -hmm. There's no pain in this light. There's no judgment in this light. This is the light from Source that created you. This is where you should have gone, Annette. Are you ready now? Mm, yeah, I guess. That, that doesn't sound very convincing to me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have you visit that place, but I want you to come back, Annette. I'm going to have you go with one of my angels. I'm bringing one of my angels here. And tell me when that angel appears. Yeah. Now, this angel is going to guide you through this light so you can see what's on the other side and then you can make a decision whether it's much more fun staying with Liz or going to that light. So go ahead now and report back to me and tell me what's there. 
joy. Mm. Mm. It's better. It's better. So what would you like to tell Liz? I'm sorry. Take a deep breath in. Liz, can you forgive Annette for wanting to give you the same pain that she felt all the time? Yes. All right. So I'd like for you, Annette, to go ahead and remove all of your essence from her body. Disconnect, and I'd like for you, Liz, to go inside of your intestines and begin cutting away at all of those cords that connect you both together. Go ahead and connect, disconnect everything. Just slice them away. And as you slice, they will just dissolve. Annette, are you ready now to go? Yes. All right. So take all your essence up through the top of her head. And I'd like for you now to go with Archangel Michael. He's always there waiting. Go directly with him. And may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you. Thank you. So I'd like to call forth now Archangel Raphael the Healer. And I'd like for him to go ahead and put his beautiful green healing light into the tummy area and the shoulder, healing it and sealing it. Feel the sensation of that beautiful light as it does its magic on all of the organs. And as we're doing that, we can continue scanning the body and seeing if there's anything else in the body that is causing her any issues. The right arm. All right, so let's take a look at that right arm and see if it's something that Liz created in that arm or is it something that is attached to her? It's an implant. It's an implant. All right, so let's find out a little bit about that implant. Where is it on the arm? Um, it's a bicep. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's zoom in on it. I'd like for you to zoom in. Imagine you're going in through an electro electron microscope and just go deeper and deeper and let's find out what that implant is a tracking device a tracking device all right so we're going to find out now who put that tracking device into that arm i'd like for you to just take a deep breath in and we're going to count from five to one when i get to number one you're going to go to the time when that tracking device was put into your arm you'll be able to see who did it and how it was done Taking a deep breath in now, five, going back through time and space to that moment when that implant was inserted. Four, deeper and deeper into that subconscious mind. Three, through time and space, looking for that moment. Two, beginning the images to come very clearly now. And one, be there now. Panama. Panama, very good. How old are you there? 28. 28. Let's see what's happening. Um, swimming with friends in a lake. In a, in like a, I'm in the, we're in the wilderness swimming. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me what's happened. The water is contaminated. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what's in the water. It's just trash. It's dirty. Mm -hmm. What happens next? Something in the water. Like, a, like an insect, water insect. Mm -hmm. Just bites, bites and puts the tracker in. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what this insect is. Is this insect from this world? No. All right. It's like a little minion. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's find out a little bit about this little minion. <laughs> I'd like for you to go to that spot and I'd like for you to address this little insect. I'd like for you to get smaller and smaller and address this little being and let's find out it's a thought it's not mm -hmm. it's like a, like a nanite kind of like mm -hmm. created by something else all right so let's let's follow that thought and let's see where it takes you keep following that thought 
Let's find out who's on the other side of that tracking. Go through time and space. Insectoids. Insectoids, all right. Let's see who they are. I'd like for you to describe where you are. It's like a praying mantis. Mm -hmm. Connect with them, with their thoughts, and let's find out how you are connected with them. Mm, they've been observing me. Mm -hmm. For what purpose? They just like tracking people. Literally, it's mm -hmm. like they just as many people as they can get to track. They do. Mm -hmm. But they, yeah, they just. I'm different than people in Panama. All right. So let's find out a little bit about who is receiving this information and what they're doing with the data. Mm, it's going to their ship. Mm -hmm. um, Keep following it. Keep following it all the way. Follow your tracking device. Follow the signal. Mm. Let's see where that ship is and who's on that ship. It's 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 in Earth. It's just camouflaged. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It like hides in the clouds. Mm -hmm. Um, but they like to meddle. They like to, they like to meddle with humans. Mm -hmm. But you see, humans have free will on this planet. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to follow that tracking device to those who installed it, who implanted you, and only they can remove it. So I'd like for you to find the one that can remove this implant. Stand before them. And tell me what you see. They said you caught me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are sovereign. You are free. And you need to tell them to remove that implant now. They're taking it out. Very good. Tell me when they have completely taken it out. Okay, Tom. Very good. I'd like for you to thank them for removing it. Thank you for removing it. And I'd like for you to forgive them because without forgiveness, you hold that in your mind and your soul. Mm -hmm. Understand that it's not personal. Mm -hmm. And with that forgiveness, I'd like for you to detach from them completely. Allow your aura to be sealed from them. Mm -hmm. And now I'd like to ask our Archangel Raphael to go ahead and put that sealing light in that area of that implant. Sealing it and healing it. And as you are connected to all of the powers of the earth, I'd like to for you to run your own energy, your own healing energy, as you told as you always do, and let's send it through that body, healing it, energizing it, and let's continue to go through that body and see if there's anything in that body that needs assistance today. And the knees? The knees. Take a look at the knees and see what's going on with the knees. What's happening there? I'm feeling like you can't move forward. Mm -hmm. So let's find out why is that Liz is feeling that way. Is this something that she put in there? Yes. All right. Let's find out why she put that. Why did she put that little roadblock there? Mm. Let's.
let's find the origin. I'd like for you to go ahead and begin saying that sentence again. I cannot move forward. I cannot move forward. I cannot move forward. Go back in time and let's find the origin. Oh, that, it's recent. Just, um... <sighs> Got, like, two RV camper van situations I'm working on and I want to get out of the rent trap and... Until those are fixed, I can't move. Mm -hmm. So let's find out if there is something that you are blocking from moving forward. I'd like for you to go ahead and connect once again with those, that Ascended Master. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to connect once again. and We're going to see that from a higher perspective. Let's connect now. Three, two, and one. It's an illusion. You can move forward. Mm -hmm. What's holding this entity, Liz, from moving forward? Why is she giving herself roadblocks? Mm. Self-abuse. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Why is she playing this game? Is it's it a method of control. Mm -hmm. So when people feel like they're not in control, they mm -hmm. create things to feel controlled, like mm -hmm. they have control. So why is she creating this illusion of control in her life by stopping herself from moving forward? So she doesn't feel like she's um, lacking anything? Like, mm -hmm. like it, she doesn't want to feel like anything's out of her control. All right, so let's move her, progress her through this issue with the RVs. I'd like for you to see ahead of you into the future without these roadblocks. Mm -hmm. flow through it see it from the Christ consciousness state of mind mm -hmm. yeah that's going to happen mm -hmm. do we need to have these roadblocks in her knees anymore no All right. so go ahead and remove them and see what happens when you remove them feel the lightness of it Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like almost like those blocks that were underneath the wheels <laughs> being removed, allowing you to roll forward. How does that feel now? Like balloons. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to go ahead and use your energy and just send that beautiful moving energy through the knees, through the legs, so you can feel the flow. Because as we flow, we can move forward in life. Feel the flow. No longer any roadblocks. Just moving ahead with intention. And as you do that, take a look at the rest of the body and see if there's any other things stopping. Something in the in the head, like on the right side of the All brain. Right. Let's find out what that is. I'd like for you to zero in on it and see if it's something that Liz put there, something that was put there, or something that is attached. It's like just black gunk that's built up over time. All right, so let's dissect that gunk and let's find out what has been put in there over time. I'd like for you to go deeper and deeper see what that gunk consists of. It's from the environment and from diet and it's just a bunch of toxins we just stored there. Mm -hmm. So let's find out why it is that this entity called Elizabeth has put all of this gunk there. Why is she storing it there? close to the crown so it can leave easily. All right. So it seems to me that she may be close to the crown, but she hasn't created any passageway mm. for it to leave. So we're going to create now a little passageway, perhaps a little tunnel or a faucet. So let's come up with something that allows all of this gunk to just evaporate out of her crown. 
What would you like to put there? Vacuum cleaner on her crown. All right, very good. So go ahead and create that vacuum cleaner. Give it a color, give it a shape. What's it look like? Um, like a cylindrical funnel kind of shape. Very good. So go ahead and implant a etheric vacuum there. Mm -hmm. So that we could take all of that stuff that's toxic to leave her body. And when you've installed it well, go ahead and turn it on. And tell me how that feels. <laughs> it's like a suction on my head. All right, so just keep suctioning it. And remove anything that is there that is causing any of this foggy fogginess. And tell me when it's done. Okay, it's done. Very good. So now we're going to use something that is available at any time. I'd like for Liz to go ahead and use her hands. I'd like for you to rub your hands. Mm -hmm. Bring out the, all of the power and energy in that hand. And I want you to go ahead and use those hands. Go ahead and rub them and put it up to your head. And let's use that energy and heal that energy within that head. Bring it in. I want you to feel the sensations and own them. Own this power. And when all of the healing of the head is done, I'd like for you to continue down the body using this energy that is rightfully Lizeth to use. Feel the sensations, own the sensations. Feel the energy as it's transmitted. Using your intention to intensify the feelings. Intensify all of that energy coming out through those hands. Acknowledging them. And as the hands continue to pass through the body, bring in that feeling of gratitude for the energy that is being sent through the hands. Intensify it even more. I will work with that distance, that's right, all the way to your feet. So now, take a look at that body and see how that body is. How's it feeling? Buzzing. 
Very good, very good. Mm -hmm. So with that buzzing feeling that we have, let's talk a little bit about how she can use her body and this energy. She wants to know a little bit about the energy that's coming in through the eyes. Mm -hmm. From the sun, how can she best use the sun for energy? The golden light comes through the eyes and it, it, it resets the vibration of the cells. Mm -hmm. Does she need to be looking directly at the sun for this? You can look at the water like a reflection of the sun on the water if you want or mm -hmm. yeah, it reflects. Very good. And what is the best time of day for her to do this? Sun, um, well in Seattle it's sunrise but if, mm -hmm. if we were in a, a more equatorial climate it would be sunset. Very good, very good. And since we're talking about the equatorial area, let's take a look at the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> she had a question about what's going on there. There's a civilization there. Mm -hmm. Can you take her to that civilization now? Can you show her a peek of that? It's underwater. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to count from one to three. When I get the number three, see it clearly. One, two, and three. A very advanced underwater civilization. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. All who enter can go directly to source. Mm -hmm. So why is it that things disappear when they're in the Bermuda Triangle? They feel that love and joy of source and they don't want to stay in the earth realm. Mm -hmm. Do they actually disappear? Yeah, the body is, it just disappears into, I mean, the soul goes, the body, um, it's taken up by the, like, it's recycled in the water, mm -hmm. like a natural, mm -hmm. any sort of biological material gets recycled in the water. So does this civilization have any type of physical form? Yes. All right. Can you show Liz the the, the physical bodies, what they look like. They're like amphibian. Mm -hmm. But they, they're they underwater mainly. Okay, very good. Is there any anything that these the civilization would like to communicate at this time through Liz? Do they have a message? Do what you can to protect the environment. Mm -hmm metal straws, um, bring your containers with you, or you, if you want to take food home, or live, sim live simply. Don't We don't need as many things as we think we do. We, humans complicate things. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now these, the civilization, do they feed underwater? Do they eat? Yes. Mm -hmm. What do they eat? There's a wellspring from Gaia of unlimited life that comes from the ocean, mm -hmm. and we feed off of that. All right. Very good. Do they have a connection with the sun? Yes, but it's a reflection. The sun comes through the water, mm -hmm. and it's reflected like a prism. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Do they eat food like like uh, humans do? No, it's like mm, like a plankton or it's like um, we don't really need very much food. All right. So they don't really need very much food either. They just know that and they eat the plankton, the, the wellspring. Okay, very good. Is there anything else that we need to know from the civilization at this time? They'll make their presence known soon. Okay, very good. So I'd like for you to go ahead and disconnect from them completely. Disconnect from them. And let's now connect with the intelligence of the body. The body has a system that keeps it alive. And let's connect 
with that system. Some people call it the innate. Connect with the system now. And let's find out what it would be best suited for Liz to be eating at this time. It seems that she's had issues with her digestion. It may have been a net. <laughs> let's take a look and see. I'd like for the body to tell Liz what is the problem with the body. Uh, releasing toxins is a, it, it's painful to release toxins. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So she's even cleaner, but she has to feel the pain of all the gunk she's put in the body. Mm -hmm. How is it looking now? Better, a lot okay. better. So, what would be the best thing for Liz to eat? Mainly fruits. Fruits. What about breatharian lifestyle? Would that work for her? It works for a little bit, but it's not a long-term thing. Mm -hmm. You want to connect to the earth, and taking an earth is a good way to connect. All right. So we should be eating from the earth. Yeah, but foods designed for humans, not not man-made foods. Okay. And what? How should she be breathing <laughs> in order for her to feel better? Slow, deep, and long. Mm -hmm. How is she doing with that? She catches herself holding her breath sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where is that coming from, that holding her breath? That's a, it's a program that a lot of humans have. We've just mm -hmm. been trained to hold, hold our breath when we're thinking or in fear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. And what is the best diet for her besides the fruit? Anything else? Um, cleansing the lower or the intestine, lower intestines, like enemas. All right, so do some more cleansing. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Now she had a question about her eyes. She's getting some floaters. Mm. What's going on with the eyes? It's a reflection of the inside. Mm -hmm. So what is the message that the, that the eyes are trying to tell her? Mm, parasites. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we all have them. All right. So let's find out why it is that she has parasites. Her old diet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, eating when she ate meat. So now that she's cleansing her, her body, will those parasites be leaving? Yes, she just has to eat more fruit. Okay, good. And now that we have that, let's take a look at what's going on with her legs. Liz had some spider veins hit her when she was in puberty. What was going on? I'd like for you to go back in time and space now, following that event. I'm going to count from five back to one. When I get to number one, we will find the origin of what created that in your legs. Taking a deep breath in now, five. Going through time and space to find the memory. Four. Allowing that to come through more and more now. Three. What caused the pressure to create the spider veins? Two. Getting younger and younger and seeing the images appear. And one. I'll be there now. Where are you? I'm getting my period. Mm -hmm. Thirteen. Mm -hmm. What's happening there? It's ancestral. It's like a rite of passage. It's um, mm, there's been a lot of sugar intake in my in the family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sugar. This one and, and I need to connect to the earth to get rid of it. All right. So I'd like for you to see yourself at that moment as you're ingesting that sugar. Find out what's going on in your system. What was the message that the spider veins were giving you? Mm. It's showing you your blood, your bloodlines, showing it's a visible representation of blood, the bloodlines. Mm -hmm. 
and how sugar affects the veins, mm -hmm. arteries and veins. All right. So let's follow that bloodline. Follow it back. Let's see what's in that bloodline. It's my mom's mom's side. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. Keep going deeper and deeper. We're going to go deeper and deeper to find where this all came from. What is the signal? What is the message coming from that ancestor? I'm going to count from five back to one. When I get to number one, let's find out what happened that causes this. What is the message of the spider veins? Taking a deep breath in now, five, beginning to follow the bloodline. Four, feeling yourself going into that ancestor's mind. Three, downloading the information. Two, understanding. And one, connecting completely. Um, we think it's, it's good for people not to have to work. It shows a sign of like nobility. And so mm -hmm. by not having any, not doing any exercise at all, it shows that we're, we're wealthy. Mm -hmm. And so by not exercising, it's causing the veins to mm -hmm. pool mm -hmm. and the blood can't move, the lymph can't move. Mm -hmm. So let's find out now that we understand that. Let's see, what was the message that was being given to this family member? Why was she picking up this information from that ancestor? What message did she have to hear? She can break this, break the cycle. Mm -hmm. Let's find out if there's any of these ancestors that need to be heard today, that need to be acknowledged. Are there any ancestors that need to be acknowledged and heard? Let's put out the call. Who steps forward? Some big fat lady. <laughs> All right, let's find out who she is. Taking a deep breath in and let's connect. Connect completely. Good morning. Hi. Who are you, please? Mm, a noble woman. Noble woman. What is the message that you want to give? Why do anything yourself when everybody else can do it for you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what is it that you need to to express to Liz? Does she learn need to learn from this? Does she need to be reminded of this? It's okay to ask for help. Okay, very good. Is she not asking for help? No. All right. So let's find out a little bit more. Take a deep breath in. Liz, what would you like to ask this noble woman? <laughs> Just because I don't ask for help doesn't mean I need to have spider veins. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, could you take them away, please? All right, take a deep breath in. Noble woman, is it for you to take these spider waves away? What is the message? Mm. I can only take away so much. I can't take it all away. You have to ask for help and eat better. All right. Very good. All right. So now let's disconnect. Disconnect completely from her. And let's speak now with your guide, the one that assists you. I'd like for you to connect with this guide. And I'd like for you to get a message from your guide about these spider web veins. What is the message? To connect to the earth, put your feet in the earth to, it's like root, the veins are like roots. All right, good. And then I'll and give, it to, give it to Gaia. Very good, very good. So we'll begin with that to allow her to start connecting with Gaia and allowing that energy of hers to flow down. 
Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Good, very good. Now, she used to get sleep paralysis all the time. What was going on with that? What was happening? I'm trying to show her that in between. Mm -hmm. What was going on in the in between lies? Because she has had many experiences. She was kind of scared to let go. What was going on in the in between life? Eventually she'd let go. If we kept doing it, eventually she'd let go. All right, good, good. And she has a, a question about something seems to be um, on her right side, causing her pain. Is this something that is an entity? Yeah, that was George. That was George. Very good. Okay. And she wants to be able to um, get some information about hidden hol uh, holographic rings that she once put on. Mm. What was happening in that dream? There's, there, they're hidden. There's um, powerful artifacts that mm -hmm. are are hidden, that are meant for us to use. But they're they're keep they're they're hidden, so you can access them in the dream state and use them then. But you can't access them in the physical. All right. Well, right now we're not in the physical state. We are in a dream state. Mm -hmm. So let's find out a little bit about these holographic rings, and we're going to go now to that place that you only reach in your dream state. The ones with the symbols. Push the button now. And I'm going to count from one to three when I get to number three. The doors will open. One, going through time and space. Two, and three. Be there now. Allow the doors to open and step out. And describe this place for me. Mm, it's futuristic. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Mm. Everything's made of natural materials like crystals and stones and. Mm -hmm. Knowledge is infinite. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to connect with that knowledge now. And allow yourself to be taken to those hidden holographic rings and tablets. The rings are so you can carry the knowledge with you. Mm -hmm. The tablets are for sharing. Mm -hmm. Which one are you going to choose today? The ring. Mm -hmm. So allow yourself to put that on. It like it can re it knows what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. It like I just think something and it appears like a holographic image and out of it like mm -hmm. it's weird mm -hmm. <laughs> tell me more it's like a comp it's like a guy it's like a spirit guide but not mm -hmm. it's like <laughs> it's like a intelligence mm -hmm. so as we look at these rings Liz came here with ideas of how she can do things to improve the life she came here. Let's find out a little bit about how she can impact life by using these rings, by using her intention. It's like a key. Mm -hmm. It's like a key to open the door to the future. Mm -hmm. The future is like now, but mm -hmm. also not now. 
because you can't see it. Mm -hmm. So when she looks at the future of mankind, mm -hmm. she came here to raise the vibration. Mm -hmm. She wants to be able to make these visions a reality. So I would like for you to go ahead and use the power of these rings and tablets. Tell me what you do. I find other people that have the same mission and we work together as a community, as a collective. Mm -hmm. Everything works better as a collective. All right. She wanted to take power back from those that have the power. Does she need to do that with these rings? To help guide. Mm -hmm. But people need to not be afraid to join together to fight for the, the way humans are meant to live. Mm -hmm. So let's find out if this knowledge comes to Liz as a thought, or does it come as words? It's a thought, kind of like mm -hmm. what we're doing now, like a picture. Mm -hmm. So how can she use these pictures in her mind to retain information, such as languages? Mm, she sees thoughts like, and use that knowledge to write and draw and retain it because the human mind has a, is in a state of forgetfulness. Mm -hmm. And then share that with others. All right, so let's see if we can get that information from the rings so that this comes natural to Liz. Set the intention. And we spoke about getting together with others in order to make this a reality. Is there a twin flame out there who will be getting together with her? Yes. Mm -hmm. What does she need to do in order to attract this twin flame? Just be, he'll come. All right, very good. So let's take a look now at the place in which she will be doing this. She seems to not want to stay in one place, she wants to be mobile, what is a good place for her to live in? Let's use the information. Mm. Mm, she'll need one place. She can go all over the place. But all right. Yeah. So I'd like for you to use that intention, focus in on the rings, where the future is now, and I'd like for you to see that future. See it as a kind of like a Google Earth image, and I'd like for you to zoom in. Yeah, we're gonna um, go to like the desert and bring it back to life, All and right. that's gonna be the new community. All right, good. No one wants to go there, but we can make it something beautiful. Very good, very good. Will she be working with others to do that? Mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now let's talk a little bit about the wise monkeys that came in her dream. Mm -hmm. As you're in this place where you have access to all this information, let's find out who they are. They're highly intelligent monkeys. Mm -hmm. What message did they want to give her? Mm. They live as a community and they're hidden in the for in the Amazon. Mm -hmm. What was the reason for Liz to connect with them? 
she's on the same vibration as like the leader mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of the monkeys mm -hmm. and that it's possible to have a community mm. that stays hidden for so long mm -hmm. mm. anything else they want to tell It, there was some wisdom that was passed on okay. that she, it'll, she's accessing it. All right. So she'll be able to access it whenever she needs it. Mm -hmm. She receives a lot of downloads now. Mm -hmm. what, is the, what are these downloads for? The future. The future. Yeah. Okay. Well, one morning she heard a deep voice that sounded like God that said, lead. Who was this voice? It was God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like basically shove, uh, shoving like a shove like a push mm -hmm, mm -hmm. has she been listening <sighs> she wants to like be perfect like have like have it all down before she goes out into the public about it but mm -hmm. I mean we're trying to get her to start like a YouTube channel where she can just let it flow and talk and mm -hmm. let everybody hear the ideas mm -hmm. of the future mm -hmm. And just let go of fear and just do it. Is there such thing as perfect? <laughs> no. No. Isn't Liz perfect as Liz? Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's remind Liz that there is no other Liz out there. <laughs> but there is no other perfect, but she already is perfect, Liz. In trying to be perfect, she means she's trying to adjust to somebody else's thought. Fair, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. So being that she's supposed to be leading, and she, she is this very powerful being that has come here to raise the vibration, has she come across spirits who are not very happy with that? Yes, she's been attacked. Mm -hmm. Why is it that she's been open to attack? Mm -hmm. It's like when somebody sees somebody else who's happy, mm -hmm. and they just... Are mad that they're not happy mm -hmm. and they want to bring them down it's like the same kind of energy so what can she do to protect herself from that <sighs> remind them that it's a free will planet and bring in surround herself in light and be a light mm -hmm. see her heart center open and expand out the light very good and what about black ribbon like figures? She saw them. Mm -hmm. Were these entities? Yes, they were. Tr they were trying to know if they should attach or not. Ah, okay. So what shouldn't she do if she sees these black figures in the future? Get her rattle out mm -hmm. and dr or and drum and um, open up the portals the the portals for the lords and ladies of death to br let them come up into back to source. Okay, very good, very good. And she says that uh, when she was younger, she saw that her room was covered by dark spirits. Mm. Was this someone that came to her, or was it a, a, a bunch of them? She saw that the lights in her room were covered by dark spirits one by one. What was the message? Mm. Take her back to that moment so that she could see through the veil. Who was it? Mm. Was she just attracting them? Yeah, I think it was some entity who was trying to mm -hmm. dim her light. Okay. Was it any of these that attached her? Mm. No. Okay, good. Good. So she has a question now about her teeth. She wants to regrow her teeth. Hmm. What do you have to tell her about that? Believe it. Mm -hmm. And have a cleaner diet. Okay. So she needs to be able to eat food that doesn't uh, 
affect her teeth? That remineralizes teeth, yeah. All right, very good. And what should, can she do about Hugo? Mm. She wants to be able to give Hugo a better diet. Um, she can give him meat like once a week. Okay. But not... Dogs don't eat meat every day in the wild. Like, mm -hmm. And he's... They're domesticated. Dogs are domesticated. So they haven't... They're omnivores. Mm -hmm. But um, it's good for them to have some meat a little bit. All right. Good. Uh, can I ask on her behalf for a guide that will assist her with cooking? Yes. All right, good. Now, I'd like to ask the reason why you brought Liz here today. What did you want to tell her? She's powerful mm -hmm. and a leader and to step into her power. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone helping her with this? Oh, yeah, she's got a lot of guides. Mm -hmm. Good, good. And is there anything that I could have asked that I didn't today that you would like to tell her? Besides her being powerful. Mm. It's all about intention and focus. Mm -hmm. So she needs to do more of that in order for her to do the healing work? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Is there anything else that you would like to tell her, or do you think that we've covered it all? Are we complete? Yeah, we're complete. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. You learn a conscious feeling wonderful all over. Oh. Welcome back. Hi. How do you feel? Great. You feel great? <laughs> That's good. Yeah. How much do you remember? I think all of it. Yeah? Yeah. Wow, a lot of work today. Huh? I know. I feel like when I meditate hard in my and I'm in my head. Yeah, that's how I feel. Do you, do you think you did well? Yeah. Yeah. How long do you think this session was? How do you feel to you? Fast? Long? I say an hour. Mm -hmm. We're uh, an hour and fifty-three minutes right now. Wow. Double that. I know. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. And your body feels good. Warm, yeah. So what do you think about this experience? Um, Being that you're a newbie here. Yeah, total mm -hmm. newbie. That was an imprint that you saw, the Native American one. Yeah. Interesting, huh? Mm-hmm. It makes sense. It was a leader. It was, yeah, was trying to get me to step into that. Yeah, to step into the leadership role in a very um, confident way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No pressure. It was just like you... You naturally just took the leadership role. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't have to like try to be a leader. You just are. <sighs> yeah, and it kind of was like, don't be afraid because it always ends up like great at the end. Yeah. And what about the rings of the tablets? Crazy. I'm like, <laughs> how did that feel? Was that mind blowing? I'm like, oh my god, uh, I have this power that I can access now. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Nice. <sighs> So what do you feel? Did you feel that you got what you needed from this? Um, yeah, and stuff that I didn't expect. Really? Like mm -hmm. what? What didn't you expect? I mean, the entities. I mean, mm. you know. I mean, I guess maybe I, I kind of thought maybe it was a possibility. But I think it's really common, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not a bad thing. It just is. <laughs> so is this something you want to share or you want to keep private? Um, I'd share it. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So, Liz, how did it go for you? <laughs> um, better than expected. Yeah? Actually, I don't even think I had expectations. Wow. So tell me what, why you came. What was the reason you came? Um, I just watched a bunch of your videos, and I just got a bunch of messages from my higher self, like, go, make an appointment, try, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I did. And uh, you said you didn't expect things in this. What, what, what kind of uh, surprised you? Um, that I'm an Ascended Master, that was interesting, and mm -hmm. that I have these tablets. and Isn't that something? Like, okay, cool. <laughs> and that you had never been here before? N no. And um, when did you get the idea that it was an imprint? Um, I felt like it was something that everybody could tap into, that 
life that, that they, life. they can, like that Native American life. And that's something. Yeah, because sometimes we, we don't go to a past life. We're going to, it's almost like a, a copy mm -hmm. of a life that we can get experience from. Do you feel that? Yeah, I feel like it's some, like that is something we have to go back to. Okay. Like we need to go back to connecting to the earth and all that. Yes. So that's why it's an imprint because it's like, this is what we need to do. You know? So you, you were told, because you came here with the idea that you can uh, live off of the sun yeah. And your breath and your higher self says, mm, you need to be... Just like some like fruit, I yes. think it was basically saying. You need saying. to connect. Connect to the earth. Because you're here on the earth. Yeah. So you need to connect to connect the earth. Connect to the earth. That, was that and interesting? And take it in through your food, yeah. <laughs> I know that makes sense. You're not going to be floating because you need to be... Yeah, because then I would just probably elevate out of this body and then you wouldn't see me again. <laughs> and then you asked about the Bermuda Triangle, which was that was interesting too. Yeah. I Did know. you expect something like that? I don't, I've always wondered, I'm like, why do people keep disappearing? And now? Now I understand, yeah. Interesting. Like it's something, everybody thinks it's like this terrible thing, but it's actually like super positive. Nice, they, nice. So that's interesting. Wow. So uh, is this something that you recommend to other people? I mean, why not? <laughs> Did you feel that you were hypnotized? Um, yeah. I was very relaxed. Yeah? Yeah. It's kind of like when you get in a really deep meditative state and you just, when you come out of it, your head's like and the clouds yeah it's like that nice yeah nice and you remember everything so it's not like you were asleep no because mm -hmm. no. a lot of people have those those questions is you know how am i going to feel and liz you tried to be hypnotized before and what happened fire alarm went off yeah and and you know it, it's it's who you went to see too you didn't even know who you were going to see mm -hmm. I think I was supposed to be waiting to see you first. Could be, and you yeah. had to have that experience. So mm -hmm. sometimes things happen, and people wonder, why did that happen to me? It wasn't supposed to be. It, you know, that's That wasn't the right time. Exactly. Or the right person. Right. Because, as you told me, it was somebody that just yeah. was there, yeah. and, hey, let me hypnotize you, and it wasn't the right time. Now, you may have the opposite. You may be in a place where it is time to be hypnotized, mm -hmm. and it happens like that too. That's true. Yeah. So do you recommend this experience? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. So the way to get a session with me is just go to my website, albawyman.com. Uh, you will see a tab that says hypnosis. Go to the tab that says newsletter, sign up for my newsletter. And it comes about, comes out about once a month and it gets booked within minutes. So as soon as you get that email, click on the links in the city near you and then you will get the calendar and then that's you get a session and i do travel all around the world so not all of the newsletters are for for the u.s or for overseas mm -hmm. it is where it is so you know, I'll, I'll be where i'll be and then you can see if you can meet me there so thank you for watching and uh i hope you enjoyed this one and i hope i get to meet you sometime soon thanks bye bye